Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time coming to our channel, you are very welcome. Thank you for joining. Do well to check other videos, like, comment, and of course, subscribe. Okay. So today, guys, we are doing something different. I'm making, yeah, this is just our family craving. We crave for this and we want to make it. And I said, why not? Let me show you guys how we do our own. Okay. So we are making, of course native pasta when you see palm oil and you see pasta you already know what that means we are making native pasta we are using all of these things that we have at home like just basic stuff things that you can just pick at home and use not really complicated stuff okay so over here we have the main the main which is the pasta already parboiled so what i did i just drizzled some um vegetable oil in the pot like when the water was there with some salt and this is it like just parboiled okay so yeah, I have my pepper mix. Yeah, mostly is uh, shobo, which is like uh, what they call it, bawa shobo. Yeah, a tomato and pepper with onion. That's pepper mix. Okay, so it's roughly blended. I don't want it smooth. I want it roughly blended, and that's what you see here. So yeah, I have clean panla fish. This is my clean panla fish. I'm gonna add to the bone and clean it. So yeah, I have some onion eggs yeah we are three we are having eggs with this yeah i have iru i've washed it i don't know do you wash your iru anyway it depends if i buy clean iru like it from a trusted vendor i don't there's no need washing but if i buy randomly from the market i go ahead and wash so you can see sometimes you even see stone sometimes you see st uh, sand you don't need that in your meal so go ahead and wash and get the stones out so yeah i have the protein of choice with the panla but yeah i have some pomo i have beef i um the beef is like shredded just like cut in a in a straight form this is the pomo so what i did i just steamed this with some ingredients like cook it so i'm going to be frying it with palm oil just to get it firmed up okay so yeah i have the garnishing of the day which is some ugu leaf you can go ahead and add scent leaf i don't have fresh scent leaf i have dried one but i don't want to use dried one and i don't have fresh one so i'm using just ugu and if you have crayfish crayfish powder please do well to use it but of course my lasso fish seasoning always do the magic for me so this is basically like the the main ingredients we are using or apart from the salt the seasoning powder and every other thing we'll be adding in the kitchen but these are like everything that you need for this recipe so we are going to go ahead now and put all of this into a very very beautiful and well garnished meal let's go guys so first thing first i'm going to add my palm oil in the pot So like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be frying this a bit. I just want it to firm up. I don't want it to look um, soft in the spaghetti. So I'm going to add it directly to my palm oil and just allow it to, to fry for a few minutes. So now I think it's fried enough. I'm going to get this out of the oil for now. And I'm also going to go in with my panla fish okay i like to do this because it it makes it firm up okay so i'm going to stir fry this for a few minutes for a few minutes to firm it up then we continue with the recipe and everything we are doing here so now that we have all of these flavors in our hoya i'm going to get the fish out you can see how this looks it looks really nice 
so the plan was to get all of this flavor in the oil and also to firm up the the meats and the fish okay so now we have done that we are going to go ahead and add our onion so i'm adding my onion now and i'm going to saute this for some minutes While that is going on, I'm going to add my iru. Yeah, I'm adding all of this iru. Of course, it's native pasta. Iru is the local, 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 local taste in this part, in this uh, recipe. So I'm adding all of them. Good thing we like iru, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to stir this for some minutes and we continue with our pepper mix. So you can see our iru and the onion is well cooked. I'm going to add our pepper mix now. Like I mentioned, I prefer it roughly blend. You can go ahead and blend in smooth if that's what you want. So I'm just going to allow this to dry. You know now, you are not going to use it like this. We are going to allow it dry, like cook perfectly. So I'm just going to leave this here to do it thin and then we'll be back, okay? So now that I have all of the liquid out of the way, I'm going to start adding my seasoning, which is very few, like it's very few, just seasoning powder, salt, and this um, fish seasoning I introduced earlier. So I'm going to be adding them. So I use the whole pack. Like I mentioned, if you have um, blended crayfish, do well to add that. So I'm adding seasoning powder now. And I'm adding salt. I'm very careful with salt these days. I don't know. If I just add a little salt, it comes out too salty. So yeah, this is it. So I'm going to mix this up and then add my pasta. Okay, so it's this simple. It's just palm oil and iru that actually made this the native pasta they talked about. So now I'm going to add my pasta. So I'll give it a, a stir to see to make sure everything is well mixed. Guys, you can see how beautiful this looks like. It's looking so good. And it smells amazing as well. So I'll be adding the rest of the pasta now that I have that mixed. I still have a little more left and that will be the last set I'm adding. So I actually just added it gradually because I I want it to be easy for me to mix, okay? So if I if I had add all of them together, it soon be this easy. So you can see, you can see how beautiful this looks. How red it looks. I want to brag, but I want to brag about something in this food. I want to brag about the palm oil, but <laughs> the person standing next to me have heard me brag about it several times, and she's just going to be looking at me with one eye. Like this palm oil, if you are from any good state, please raise your hand in the comment section because we, as in, we own bragging rights to the best granite uh, palm oil in the world. We all bragging rights. I don't know how quite even people used to make too much noise, but you know now. Mano Enugu is the best. So my dad has a palm oil plantation where they make palm oil in bulk and all that. And he doesn't fail to send some to his children and we are enjoying the best palm oil ever. 
like you can see how red it is see if i use i don't want to be calling names but i have used palm oil that at the end of the day the palm oil will just change your supposed red food to black mostly when you use some kind of palm oil to cook ogbono soup it will just turn the um, ogbono it will just cut it or like it won't be slimy or it will just get dark but this one the see what you buy is what you get if you need my papa number share you can as well let me know in the comment section so guys this is what it looks like i'm going to add my proteins now no so here is me adding my proteins i'm going to add my egg because i want it to soak all of this goodness so i'm going to stir all of this together yes together tell me you are salivating because this looks good guys see now see see native pasta native pasta way win award like this is so good so you want to just stir so everything can be well combined and the last thing you'll be adding to this which you won't leave to on the stove for long is your ugu like i mentioned if you have scent leave you can add as well but ugu is okay yeah i'm going to be adding my ugu now yeah so you see why i didn't really want my pepper mix to be well smooth i want it like crushed the way it is now because it looks better this way my egg is breaking that's because i don't know how to peel eggs i always do it wrongly so guys this is what it looks like like i mentioned i'm going to add my ugu to this yeah and just allow it to simmer for few seconds and we are done we are done like see now see see pasta <laughs> see pasta like this is something that we are going to really enjoy tonight it's looking good it's nice so i'm just going to allow this simmer for some minutes and then it's ready it's ready guys it's ready it's ready so let me know what you think let me know let me know let me know what you think this looks really nice by the way thank you so much so if by now you still haven't subscribed please go ahead go ahead i'm sure you like what you see go ahead and subscribe it's all vibe and learning in here so go ahead subscribe click on the subscribe button like comment let's do this thing together always okay yeah thank you guys i know go stop on a good side too my light is never gonna die don't i go fire any devil devil my life is forever gonna shine before them don't know me from my area now i'll be here to the guys because i came back on my son my light is forever gonna shine I'm so G to my bro, I'm sorry yeah, yeah. It's the money, don't call me It's been a long way coming You know, go make sense if you don't know the journey I do, I promise, mommy But man got no worries Just like yesterday Mama tell me, say, make a right Anytime I fall, I go rise up she said, no big look or stature All this stuff I know Anyhow we be I can't face my face Can't run from it, no stopping me